My name is Dr. Sunil Dargar. I have done my MD in pathology and microbiology being provided to the citizens of Delhi and NCR. You know, especially during the rainy seasons when we find that the vector borne disorders, diseases increase manifold, malaria is one of the most important thing and most frequently prescribed investigations. See, generally when we request for malaria investigation and if we are asking for a peripheral smear, we should always ask thick and thin smears both. See, thin smear is generally uh, prepared in a laboratory when we are doing a peripheral smear examination. But the problem is that a small drop of blood is spread over a very large area and it takes relatively longer time to scan the area of one drop that is spread for detection of malaria parasite. The advantage with a thick smear is that three to four drops can be packed up into a very small area comparatively and if malaria parasites are present you know they can be detected relatively faster. So, the increased accuracy of malarial parasite detection is guaranteed with a thick smear. So, it is best when we are looking for the smear examination that we should do a thick and thin smear examination together. Sometimes if the patient have had anti-malarial treatment, it is advantageous to ask for a malarial antigen also to be detected rather than just the thick and thin smears.